holding the hand up. Y'all ready for this? The tiny but mighty tennis teams here at Northampton have respectfully brought in many successful awards and represented the spirit of the Blue Devil over the past few decades. Both the girls and boys tennis team are having a successful year and are hoping to bring in some team and individual achievements this season. To become more familiar with the mental game of tennis, the cheering restrictions, and the bond between teammates, I sat down with girls team member Haley Wojnar. Well, since it's more of an individual sport, to bond, it's more off the courts. Like just the other night, um, two of us, three of us went out to eat Friday. And it's like on the bus ride we talk and we're not supposed to talk on the courts, but like we talk and we um, make jokes on the court when we're not playing during practice. Cheering actually is like kind of hard at tennis. It takes your like, focus away. So I do better when no one's watching me and I know a lot of the other players do better when we're not paying attention to them. There's so many different tactics and like skills you have to think about when you're hitting, like where it's going to go, how you're going to swing and stuff like that. And once you start thinking, that's when you mess up. The boys tennis team is also doing well this season, currently riding in second place in their division with a 6-2 and two record. To learn about his mental preparation and experience being on the tennis team, I talked with boys player Galen Windsor. Overall, it's been good. You know, I've kind of had a pretty just kind of steady upper trajectory through the rankings. You know, I started out as an exhibition player, not in the top seven, kind of moved my way up into sometimes playing doubles, then kind of steadily playing doubles and playing singles last year. Since we got uh, a freshman, a really good freshman this year, I kind of got bumped down to doubles again, but that's been fine by me because uh, the team's really good. So I would say having my dad as a coach this year has actually been pretty much purely positive. I thought it would be kind of weird and I was expecting it to be uh, a bit rough, but I think we work well together. It's been really good. I think he's done really well as coach um, and he's definitely one of the main reasons for our success. I think a lot of uh, being successful in, in, in the mental aspect of tennis is kind of self-talk and like regulating how you're talking to yourself. So if you're down a couple games, am I getting mad at myself? Am I you know, having a lot of negative self-talk? Because that doesn't help at all. If I'm up a few games, am I getting too cocky? You know, am, I, am I having too much positive self-talk? Kind of trying to regulate that. You can watch the girls' tennis team play home today at 4 p.m. at JFK. Softball also has a home game today at 4 p.m. against West Springfield. And boys lacrosse has a stadium game tonight at 7 o'clock under the lights against Amherst. Baseball is away at 4 p.m. today against Central. Tomorrow, girls lacrosse has a home game at 2 p.m. against Tantasqua and Boys Ultimate has a tournament starting at 9 a.m. Both the girls and boys track team has an invitational meet at 5.30. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.